In this video, we're going to go through the keyboard shortcuts that you can use to make DAX scripting in Power BI a lot easier. We're going to go through all of them one by one together so you can follow along as well. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So Power BI provides a lot of keyboard shortcuts that can help you write DAX faster. You can find all the shortcuts available to you if you click Shift question mark. It will show you all the different shortcuts that you can use in different parts of Power BI. Or if you click this link at the bottom, it will take you to this article that covers all the available shortcuts for you. I'll leave a link to this down below. So I thought I'd cover some of my favorite ones first of all. So this is the Power BI report file that we will use today. I'm just reusing one of my demo files that I created for a different purpose. So this one is a good one to use because it has a calculated table here, which I created using DAX. So let's start with the basic ones. So here I have my cursor on line one and I will simply use shift enter to create a new line underneath the formula bar. It helps improve the readability of your code, especially if you're using a lot of functions or doing other calculations like in this example. If I delete that and if you wanted to do the inverse of it, you can hold control shift enter that will create a new line above the line that you've selected instead of the one below. A useful shortcut that you need to know is the control and then scrolling on the mouse wheel. This will allow you to control the size of the text. You can use the control mouse click or you can also use control and then the plus and minus buttons on the keyboard that will let you toggle between the different font sizes. So if the texts are too small, instead of squinting your eyes, you can simply change the size of the fonts. Just bear in mind that if you're using IntelliSense, it will be affected. So any icons or texts will get moved accordingly. You can navigate your DAX scripts easier by using the home and the end keys. This lets you jump straight to the beginning or the end of your line like this. If you hold control along with the home or end keys, it lets you jump to the very beginning or to the very end of your DAX formula. If you wanted to comment out a line in your code, you need to go to the beginning and type slash slash that will comment out that line of code. An easier way to achieve the same thing is by using the control slash that will comment out the line that you've selected. It doesn't matter where you have the cursor in the line, as long as it's in the line, it will comment it out from the beginning. You can use the same keyboard shortcuts to uncomment and comment. So this makes it a lot easier and faster to comment out things in your code. Another useful one is indentation. And again, I use it quite a lot because it improves the readability of my codes. And normally, if you wanted to indent lines of your codes, you would simply just go at the beginning and press the tab button. An even easier way to do it is by holding control square brackets. So that opening and closing brackets will allow you to indent or unindent a line without having to go to the beginning of the line. So those were the basic ones that I use fairly regularly. Now let's get onto some of the cooler shortcuts available. If you need to select the current line you're on, normally you would do this like highlighting it like this, or maybe you want to simply hold shift and end that will just highlight everything in your line. But an even faster way is by using control I that will simply just highlight and select the line that you have before. Sometimes finding the correct opening and closing brackets can be confusing. So for example, here, when you select the um, opening bracket here, if you wanted to look for the closing bracket, you will see that it will get highlighted here at the bottom, but it is at the bottom. A quick way for you to jump between the opening and the closing brackets is by using control shift forward slash. If 
I do that, you'll see that it will jump the cursor for me, jump back and forth between the opening and closing brackets of what I have selected. If you have lots of lines in your code, like in this one, for example, and you know which line you need to quickly jump into, you can simply select Control G. This will let you type which line you want to, or you could jump into. So if we say line 30, that will bring us to that line. If you hit enter, that will put the cursor in line 30. I'm going to jump into another DAX table that I created, the calendar table, just for these couple more examples. So here, for example, this calendar DAX table just generates us this calendar table at the bottom. And let's say we want to move the columns here. So we want, let's say, the month number above the quarter here. So it will be the month number first. Normally, if you want to do that, you would simply just cut it, cut it here and then paste it here at the top. A quicker way to do this is by holding Alt and then using the arrow buttons. That allows you to simply move things around in your lines without having to do all of that manual work. So if you wanted to just move it back, for example, you just hold Alt and then arrow keys to drag those down. If you wanted to copy a line and insert it into your code, you can combine that with Shift. So if you do Alt, Shift, and then the arrow keys that will create a copy of the line that you are at, either at the top or at the bottom of it, depending on which arrow keys you use. So for example, here we've duplicated the month number. If you hold Alt and click somewhere in your formula, you'll notice another cursor will blink. And if you start typing, it will duplicate across these two cursors. So this is great if you need to type things the same way and it will simply just duplicate what you're typing. You can achieve the same thing in bulk by holding Control Alt and then arrow keys. That will simply add cursors to all of the lines that you go to. So for example here, and if we want to just delete, for example, all of that all at once, or just type comma, it will be reflected on all of those lines where we have the cursor blinking. You can use shift with up or down arrows to quickly select lines above or below, which would be the same thing if you simply held, let's say shift and then move it arrows sideways, for example. You can use control D to select the current word. If you continue to select control D, it will continue selecting any other occurrences of that word. You can see it also adds a cursor on all of them. So it's useful if you want to change them uh, to something else all at the same time. Another shortcut that you can use to achieve this, so by just simply selecting all of the occurrences is by selecting control shift L like that. You can quickly delete words using control delete. And then finally, you can delete lines very quickly using control shift K like this. And that's it for this video. So I think that about covers everything available for you. But as I mentioned, I'll leave a link in the description box below to the documentation where it outlines not just the shortcuts for DAX scripting, but also anything else that is available for you in Power BI. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.